Hey, what's up everyone? Maroni here. So, they just announced today that they're making an Invincible animated series. Which is a huge deal for me as an Invincible fan. So, for those of you who don't know, Invincible is a comic book series. Uh, you can see it right there. Uh, Invincible Anatomy. Uh, Invincible is probably my second favorite superhero next to Spider-Man and only because I grew up on Spider-Man. I watched the cartoons, I read the comics, so it's it's hard to top him as a superhero because I just love him so much and he's just so ingrained in me and who I am. But Invincible comes to a close second. I love that comic book series. It's fantastic. Um, you can see my collection in the background right here. Ooh, where my mouse is at. That's uh, pretty much most of my Invincible collection. I got most of the comics. Uh, my single issues are somewhere back there in boxes. But yeah, uh, they just announced uh, Robert Kirkman and Skybound and Amazon just announced that they Amazon has greenlit an animated series, which I'm super excited for. Uh, I cannot wait. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh, I either wanted some animated movies, direct to DVD, kind of like uh, DC does with some of their properties, or I wanted an animated series. And we're getting an animated series from Amazon, so I'm extremely excited because I think hopefully the team they got together will just capture the magic that is invincible and because i think animation is probably one of the best mediums that's going to be able to capture that or imitate some of the greatness of the comic because the comic is really lively uh really energetic and i think the, they're making a live action movie and i think it's gonna it'll probably be a good movie but i think it's gonna be hard to capture a lot of what invincible is through live action because you need a lot of cg and stuff and it essentially becomes <laughs> an animated feature with so much CG and everything like that. But I'm sure it'll be good. But yeah, like I said, I'm super excited about this news. Uh, for uh, for people who don't know what Invincible is, I'll give you a quick recap. Invincible is a superhero. Uh, he has super strength, uh, invulnerability, pretty much, and he can fly. Uh, he's kind of like a Superman type, you know, all powerful, really strong. He comes from a, an alien race. Uh, in the beginning of the comic, or in the first half of the, or the straight beginning of the comic, uh, his dad is an alien who came to Earth and he becomes a superhero there. And he grows up as a teenager, kind of idolizing his dad. And eventually he, he gets his powers while he's a teenager in high school. And he kind of follows in his dad's footsteps. He becomes the superhero invincible and he goes out, meets other superheroes, fights crime. And it's a really good story. Uh, it's by Robert Kirkman, the maker of Walking Dead. You probably know him from uh, Ryan Otley's, one of the artists. Uh, Corey Walker's, the other artist who started off the series with Robert Kirkman. They're pretty much the brains behind the series and developed it from the beginning to the end. It ran for 15 years. The comic series is unfortunately over, but it's out there. You can go read it. It's fantastic. Highly recommend it. But yeah, pretty much he the story in the beginning is about Invincible, Mark Grayson, and his dad, and kind of their relationship. And their relationship really sets the tone for the future of the series and where it goes. There's a big twist in the beginning that a lot of people know about that is... I love the twist. It's an amazing twist. It's, it's really good and really sets up the series to be amazing because it starts off okay, but after the twist I think it really starts getting amazing and then Robert Kirkman really starts getting into his groove. So, I mean, I don't want to spoil a lot of the comic, but that's pretty much it. It's a superhero comic. It's amazing. It's bloody. It's intense. It's crazy. So, lots of fun. I really recommend it. You can go out there and get the trades and everything. They're available. But yeah, so, like I said, the animated series was greenlit. Super excited for it. Uh, I just, they released this press, uh, press announcement, so I wanted to go over it and just talk about it and some of my thoughts and hopes for the series what I wanted it to be because like I said I love this comic book series and I'm a huge animation fan so like this, this is a real really really big deal to me this would be like if Spider-Man got his first animated series which he's had plenty and I grew up watching most of them already <laughs> you know so and I even watched the the Disney one right now just I think it's just called Spider-Man <laughs> it's not that good but I'm still watching <laughs> anyway so Invincible the Animated Series Greenlit by Sally Jaka. Jaka? I don't know who that is. I'm guessing she's a writer for Skybound. So, 
the Invincible series, comic series might have ended, but we told you it wouldn't be the end of Mark Grayson and his friends. We're insanely excited to announce today that Invincible is being adapted into an animated series as part of our partnership with Amazon Studios. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's right. Not only is the best superhero comic in the universe, it pretty much is, <laughs> being adapted as a movie, which, if you're wondering, yes, the movie is still being made at the same time. Uh, we'll see when it comes out. Uh, by Seth Rogen. It's about to become the best animated series in the universe as well, and I really hope it is. <laughs> so, my hopes are high. <laughs> uh, we're super early into development right now, so we don't have much to share with you, but check out all the full press release below. Of course, keep it keep tuned in here and on the site and on your our social channels, social media channels, <laughs> for all the latest news. Oh, and let us know in the comments which scenes from the comic you're most stoked to see come to life. Uh, there's a lot of scenes that I want to see come to life. <laughs> it's like, I'll make you a list. I'll get back to you. <laughs> no, but I guess they're, they're early into development. Um, so they don't even have any kind of artwork or anything, any backgrounds or anything like that. I, it looks like they just kind of set up the team. They probably... Uh, signed contracts and stuff a while ago, but it looks like they just kind of set up their team uh, and are moving forward into production. So I don't even know if they have an animation studio in mind or anything like that, or they might, but I'm guessing since we don't have any designs or any artwork, they're really, really early into development, which is fine. Um, hopefully we don't have to wait too long and maybe until 2020 at latest it comes out, hopefully sooner, because I want to see it. Uh, but yeah, Amazon Studios greenlit the project. Uh, from the creator of The Walking Dead, which, yes, he created The Walking Dead, but he also did a lot more. Uh, Santa Monica, California, June 19, 2018. Amazon Studios today announced it has greenlit an hour-long animated series, Invincible, from the acclaimed writer Robert Kirkman, The Walking Dead, and Oblivion Song. Oblivion Song is awesome. It is still going. Check it out. Co-creator Cory Walker and artist Ryan Otley. Based on the popular comic book series of the same name, the eight episode series will premiere globally on Amazon Prime video in over 200 countries and territories. So okay, right off the bat, it's an hour long animated series with eight episodes, which is really exciting. Uh, I don't think they've ever done an hour long animated series anywhere, not even anime wise. I know the Justice League, the first Justice League show before Justice League Unlimited, they kind of had an hour-long series, but not really. Um, they had hour-long adventures, I guess you could say, but the episodes were split in half. They weren't considered one episode, so two episodes made of one story. That's how they used to do it for the Justice League. That's the only example I think I can think of off the top of my head. So, yeah, Invincible, I think, is the first animated series to have an hour-long series. I can't think of anything else. Uh, if you can think of something, let me know in the comments below, but I can't think of it. But eight episodes, yeah, eight, eight one-hour-long episodes can cover a lot from the comic book. So, ooh, man, uh, I think the big twist might come at the end of the first episode. I mean, because they have to condense a lot of things, so I'm pretty sure they're going to take out a lot. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, theoretically, I, the first episode could end with the big twist. The second episode can. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, whew, man, uh, eight episodes. I'm trying to think how much they could come packed into that those eight hours. But I mean, then again, I'm just kind of guessing. I'm I'm hoping they go off the comic book storylines. They can essentially make their own stories just using this character and everything. I mean, I don't know. I'm hoping they go through through the entire comic series from beginning to end. That's something I would absolutely love. I, I won't mind original contents, like, even if they have one-off episodes where it's just something that wasn't related to comics. That makes it interesting and unique for the comic book fans. Uh, but I guess, I guess we'll see. Right now, I'm just going to go on to the assumption that they're following the comic book series from beginning to end. So that's something. Uh, man, I'm going to I'm gonna speed this up because I don't want to talk too long because I don't know how many people are going to watch this. Um, Robert Kirkman commented, I couldn't be more proud of these of the series. Cory Walker, Ryan Otley, and I did together for over 15 years. To know our characters will live on on multiple iterations of other media is almost too exciting to bear. 
What Amazon is allowing us to do in, an, in an animated form is nothing short of groundbreaking, and I can't wait for our rabid fan base to experience it. I can't wait to experience it either. But yeah, um, I'm excited because Robert Kirkman has, I think he has a good judge of character. He's always gotten good creative teams. I mean, just look at Invincible, The Walking Dead, Oblivion Song right now, uh, Tech Jacket, uh, Wolf, Astounding Wolfman. A lot of his series are really good. I mean, he hasn't been 100% perfect, but he's done a great job. I like a lot of his work, uh, Marvel Zombies, his work on the Ultimate, uh, X-Men, I enjoyed. So he's done a lot of good stuff, so he, he's someone who can really be trusted. Uh, so let's go. Invincible is produced by Skybound, it's his entertainment company. Uh, Saime Recopia, Teen Titans. Okay, I looked this up earlier. He wrote uh, for Teen Titans for about a year. He wrote a few episodes, only like three, I believe. Uh, he's been in the animation industry for a long time, very, very long time. He's worked on a lot of series. He's produced a few, written for several. So I don't think he's, I don't know if he's ever been a showrunner. He might have been, but he has a solid background so i'm hoping and again robert kirkman is a good judge of character and i'm sure his team is as well so i'm sure he's going to do a great job uh the series is executive produced by kirkman Rocopia, david alpert from the walking dead fear the walking dead okay Catherine winder from the angry birds movies star wars the clone wars that's a good reference not so much angry birds <laughs> uh with supervising directors justin and chris copeland from Avengers Assemble, Assemble and Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, I don't know about that. I wasn't a big fan of those shows. They were decent. They got better towards the end. But yeah, they should be fine as long as they capture the spirit of the comic. Uh, Invincible Kirkman's second longest comic book series including concluding in February 2018. Sad to see it end. 15-year um, run. The full series is available across 23 countries and in 8 languages. And... Is also currently in development separately as a feature like movie. <coughs> then they talk about uh, Amazon Studios and what they've done. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like I said, uh, really excited for this. I trust Kirkman and his team. He seems to gather good, talented people. So, I'm, I'm hoping and I'm a little confident that this show will be good. Like I said, as long as they focus on the characters in the story try to capture the spirit of the comic book, it will succeed. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I hope this is in... Some of the things I hope for this comic, like I said, I hope that it follows the storylines from the comic book series from beginning to end. I think that'd be interesting. They could throw in some original stuff. I wouldn't mind that as well. Um, you know, maybe introduce some things earlier, or maybe Kirkman had some ideas he would have liked to introduce earlier, and that would be the chance for him to do that. I wanted the, uh, I hope the animation is 2D. I would love to see this in 2D animation because I just love 2D animation. Uh, 3D would be fine as well, uh, but I'm really hoping for 2D animation. I just love 2D animation. It just looks better to me. Not that CG looks bad, I just, I feel like the colorfulness and everything of Invincible would be better captured in 2D. That's just my opinion, whatever. Um, it has to be pretty much R. Because <laughs> if you haven't read the comic, it's really bloody and it can be very violent. Not overly... It, there's a lot of gore, but it's not overly gory. It's not like in your face, like disgusting kind of gore. It's kind of like, whoa, man, that's crazy. Or, oh, man, that guy is dead. He is chopped in half. Like... Good kind of gore, I guess you could say, if you're a fan of action, action-y gore, I guess you could say. <laughs> so, good stuff. Um, I think that's pretty much it that I want to talk about. Uh, I want him to be 2D, follow the comic book series. Like I said, I just don't want this to go video to go along too long. Uh, I just want it to be fun and exciting and capture the spirit of the comic book. I'm excited. I think it's going to be good. Like I said, Kirkman has good judge of characters. So it should be fun. Um, other than that, uh, I hope it comes out sooner than later. I would love it for it to come out next year. They're early in production, so it's not coming out this year. Uh, hopefully it's not 2020. Uh, that's too far for me. I, I'll still be excited and can't wait for it, but hopefully 2019. Um, so that's it. I mean, I, I'm excited. I could talk about this more, but I... 
I want to keep this video short, it's already gone on way too long. <laughs> I know it has, because I'm just, uh, super excited, super excited. Uh, but yeah, if you're a fan of Invincible, uh, what do you hope for the series? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't seen the series, uh, or read the comic book series, definitely go check it out. Uh, check it out and tell me what you thought of it. If you hated it, let me know. If you loved it, you know, come thank me. Because <laughs> I'm pushing you in the right direction for a good comic book series. I'm telling you, it's it's good. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.